Hello everyone! For those who think of winter as just a light snowfall and some Christmas Eve excitement, this compilation is about to change the way you see this time of year. Get ready for the unforgettable videos taken during the coldest season. Here we go. Standing on the platform's edge is usually not a great idea, especially during winter. Definitely more energising than any cup of coffee. A seasoned climber decided to switch things up by trying to scale a massive icicle. But it didn't go as he had hoped. Guy in Sherman Williams told me to come look at this. A pipe busted out here. Look at that car. Holy cow. How are they going to get inside those cars? I believe that after this, the cars will feel chilly, even in the summertime. Get in there, boys! <laughs> well, he did get rid of the snow on the road that he was supposed to. Winter can catch drivers and city services off guard with its sudden arrival leaving them little time to get ready. And this happens. But here's the real question. What kind of car is the guy behind the camera driving? Someone at this airport was definitely not ready for bad weather either. It's scary to imagine what the passengers felt at that moment. Looking for a place to ford the river can be tricky. But seeing how cool the driver is, he's well prepared for that. Imagine the face of a guy who finally remembered where he parked his car two months ago. At first glance, it looks as if this ship is carrying ice blocks, but that's not quite so. That's right, they are cars! While cruising across the ocean, the cargo ship loaded with shiny new cars ended up getting coated in a thick layer of ice. The ship's ironically named Sunny Rio. But seeing that poor car makes me wish we should think of a new name. Everyone knows about underground parking. 
But have you ever seen a parking space underwater? I'd love to meet the genius who first thought that parking a car on ice was the safest bet. Somewhere in the mountains, an avalanche rolled down and saved parking spots for the cars below for a good while. A typical glacier observation trip ended up being one of the tourists' most unforgettable moments. They witnessed a massive 200-foot ice chunk breaking off right before their eyes. Seriously, who can call Alaska boring now? No, this is not a high-speed train, but a view from the home of expedition staff in Antarctica. You know how it is, everyone's got their own work scene. Go to the Emirates, they said. You'll soak up the sun and have a good swim, they said. Good thing his car was ready for an obstacle course trip. Picture spending three hours digging up a car, only to reach the license plate and realize it's not your car. Why bother driving and burning gas to reach mountain resorts when you could just do this? This guy's optimism is enviable, but he's not so great at making predictions. It looked like a good idea, but he should have thought it all the way through. Only a real pro can dodge an avalanche so skillfully. While the homeowners were away on business for a while, the pipe under the kitchen sink simply burst. Well, they won't have a kitchen for a while, but they do have an indoor skating rink now. <laughs> This is my face five minutes after being outside in Minnesota. 
This is my face 15 minutes after being outside in Minnesota. This is my face 30 minutes after being outside in Minnesota. This is my face an hour after being outside in Minnesota. This is my face. Just wondering how long it would take for him to turn into an ice sculpture. The radiator in this house is clearly going to need some backup. A powerful snow avalanche in Austria that looks more like a snow river. And if you don't think about its power and scale, it comes off as quite peaceful. The weather in the video is so chilly that you can almost sense it through the screen. Ugh. Rescue training includes real-life situations too. Practicing on the field is more effective than any classroom lesson. Though even this woman might be even luckier. Ну, короче, я вот пойду, наверное, сейчас куда-то вот туда. Ах, а там еще под второй этаж. In such conditions, it's better to take a vacation sometime before April. The driver of the tractor decided to teach the owner of the white car a lesson. Fair punishment for parking in the wrong place, don't you agree? This is a car in front of my building that somehow <laughs> froze. Solid ice. Solid, solid, solid. Look at that. This is not even... This is not a trick. This is solid ice. Esto no es un truco de cámara. Look at that. Though some snow plows are quite the troublemakers. Whoa, 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 поехал, поехал, поехал. Смотри, смотри. Давай, давай. Сюда лед. Здорово,
Yo, 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 yo. With a simple move, you can change the slope and get to ride in an avalanche. He was determined to shovel the snow and go to work, but at this point he changed his mind and decided to stay home this day. Skiers were bummed out because there was a ton of snow on the mountain, making it impossible to hit the slopes. Yeah, it happens. Can you imagine a car less suited for this kind of weather? He has dreamed about this his whole life. Oh, that is not. I'm certain that landing got to him, not in a physical way, but mentally. That is not. Take your mark. Go. No, it's not on Jupiter. It just gets super windy and snowy up in the northern regions occasionally. Those horses, though, seem like they're from a whole other planet with how tough they are. A video for those who've ever fancied spending their Christmas breaks in Canada. The folks who designed this house better say they intended to put a dormer here if they want to keep their jobs. Вот так, короче, живешь, живешь, метель задула, идешь домой. Looks like this is Antarctica, but Texas can get its fair share of snow and wind too. The frost gave this guy an unexpected but funny experience of unpacking his own car. Let me in! Very impressive stunt, guys. Apparently, the plan is to grab a quick bite before someone smashes the table. Go on. Oh, 